guys, welcome to another episode of Real Hazardous. We're out here fishing again, uh, early in January, nice and cold, cold right out, but it's getting warm now, now that we're out of the warmer water. Hopefully we'll catch some wahoo, bottom fish, tuna, um, who knows, we're trolling some ballyhoo right now, and uh, we're going to see what happens, so stay tuned. You want to pair the net? Yeah. Yeah, let's, uh, especially these wide ones, bring them in. Well, they were wearing that out of Italy, um, man. Off to our side there, the high speed. You say what you think, you can get a bite. That son of a got a little pressure to him there. Yeah, you need to get a bite. I'm gonna come to the other yeah, side of there, kid. Got the heart already. They ain't bass fishing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We ain't chances from more or good. I don't know, this one might have got dead or... Yeah, it, 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 it. Right. A lot of times what you'll do is you can pull up and reel down and, and it helps you a little bit. Make sure that you block that line too. You want to take, keep moving oh, it with yeah. your finger. Don't let it get built up in one spot on the spool. That rattle jet's about as, about as insurance as anything. Yeah, it's easy to reel. Let me know I'll go in the high speed. All right, it ain't easier to reel. It's getting harder. I got a hundred pounder here. I think you're within about the last three or four hundred yards of it. We're pulling a big old ruby lip grunt. I can't feel a head shaking yeah. or nothing. It's just solid weight. Yeah, if he gets up and goes deep right here by the boat, I'm going to call a tuna. But if he jumps and it looks like a mahi, I'm going to call him a mahi. I'm going to guess tuna or bonita. Look at all the boats around us now. They're everywhere. Oh, yeah. Two more back over that way. Two on the other side. There might be the area here, guys. He's got his mouth open, so he's just pulling water. Is that more than AJ? I think so, yeah. Amberjack. Amber there you go. Take a picture of him anyway. That's a legal trip, that's a good one. Oh, jeez. Ha ha ha! Large mouth, boy. St. Mary's River Bass. Yeah. Alright guys, we were trolling around, caught an amberjack. It's been kind of slow. We're going to drop down and get some trigger fish and then troll again. Had my underwater camera down, a go fish cam, really cool camera. Always curious, you know, what we'll see on that. We've got some really cool kingfish video. And we had it out while we were trolling for wahoo. It was really neat. You know, we didn't get a wahoo that day, so I was like, dang. And, you know, I thought the fish were here. We looked back and we had a wahoo striking our bait. In fact, at one point I pulled up the bait and it's like, dang, something cut it in half. I was wondering if it was a wahoo, but it could have been a cuda or a kingfish or something. But it was crazy seeing that wahoo attack the bait. You know, we filmed kingfish and the kingfish have been kind of funny, the ones we filmed, they'll kind of check the bait out, stalk it for a little while, they're, I don't know, I guess like they're thinking and taking a good look, you know, trying to make up their mind, maybe picky eaters. But the wahoo, you just, bam slammed that thing really neat to see it was cool because he slammed it he missed the hook unfortunately and you know we're still trolling and he actually came back around and followed it for a little while so that was interesting to see you know, it helps me to learn about the fish we also saw a cool uh, pretty good school of amberjack follow the bait at one point they didn't bite it either but it was it was again neat to see them take a look at it you know this amberjack uh, can be pretty quick fish very powerful fish and it's just neat to watch the school follow the bait up. That was for me to learn about the fish and, and things like that. Hope you guys learned some stuff from that clip as well. Well, you just let it drop all the way to the bottom? Yeah, all the yeah. way to the bottom and reel up just a little bit. I'd reel about two or three turns for them to the trigger. And you know, all you gotta do is reel. You don't have to like jerk up when you get a bike. Yeah. They'll usually hook themselves. Gotcha. Yeah, we're not bass fishing. Oh, I ain't got to the hook? No. <clears throat> This reel's got rapid fire on the side of it, it says. So look here, if you see me, if I get down on it, and you see a bunch, you get a <laughs> bunch of bullets hit the water, it's because I hit that rapid fire button there. Yeah. I got, no, I got Lanier, I think. You got me, is that what I feel? Yeah. Oh, I just got a good one. I got a fish, boy. He just broke, broke my lid off. <laughs> you got a good one, Lanier? Yes, sir. <laughs> All right, guys, another good day on the water. It's really nice out here. We're gonna drop down, see if we can catch some trigger fish real quick in between the uh, 
theoretical peak bites on the trawl. Let me, that's probably a picture. Um, let's get you on this one. The rapid fire feature, real quick, before I put the rod up, you know, okay. it's just rapid fire on the side. I don't know, I'm scared to push it. <laughs> was it is, is, the, is the mag in? Did you check that? Before? I, I, hey, it was locked and loaded, it said rapid fire, and I was a little scared of it. <laughs> I think I got a baby. Uh -oh, he's coming up. Oh, he's coming up, Edgar. It is. Oh, nice little fishy, Save. fishy, fishy. Trigger. There you go. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about, big dog. One trigger fish down. Last week, Kayla made some trigger fish tacos with this sauce from a recipe cousin Drew gave us. Kind of a sweet, spicy sauce. Pretty dang good. Okay, there we are ready. Ready? Yeah. Should be marking them now. About uh, 10 to 30 feet off the bottom. Thick right there, about 30 feet off the bottom. You want to pull it up? I'm gonna move around. Or you got one? Oh, yeah. There we go. Trigger. There we go. Uh, pretty good. Yeah, All medium. All right, guys, uh, going on our uh, third drift. I think I'm starting to get it figured out. Yeah, so we got three of them so far, right? Yeah. All right, guys, I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about your trigger fish. Um, really, any kind of fishing. Like we have what's called the ledge. It's kind of where it drops off from you know, roughly 160 to 200, and then you start getting into the Gulf Stream. It quickly goes from that 200 to you know hundreds, thousands of feet as you go further out um, off of Jacksonville, St. Augustine, Fernandina. You know, it's around 60, 50, 60 so miles, something like that. Um, but you know, if you were down in the Keys or you know. Fort Lauderdale, Miami, it's just a couple miles, you know, it's right there. So for us, fishing for trigger fish, you know, we're using our kind of typical bottom rod setup. It's got about 80 pound braid, and for trigger fish and vermilion snapper, which are common, we use small hooks, tiny little number one off, or you know, two bottom um, hooks. We then have a, a leader, mono or fluorocarbon leader. Um, it can be pretty light, I'll do 40 pound. For a vermilion and trigger fish, you know, it's nice and stealthy. Uh, don't need crazy heavy stuff. Not like if we were going for grouper, you know, big fish like that. This time of year, trigger fish and vermilion, corgis, stuff like that are pretty common. It's kind of the main thing we target. Plus, you know, grouper and some of those other species are closed right now. But uh, it takes about probably a minimum of a 10 ounce weight because we're in 180 feet today. Um, current's moving pretty good. You can go 12, sometimes even 16 ounce. So you're gonna need a pretty heavy weight for this rig. We've got a couple loops, so we'll fish like two, maybe even three baits. I'm just dropping it down. And a lot of times trigger fish aren't dead on the bottom. Oh. Yeah. There you got one. Yeah. Uh, 
Good one. Talk to me, LP. Oh, okay, okay. There you go. I got you if you want. <laughs> I took it out of my hand. <laughs> How you guys doing, uh, Leon? Hey, we're right here. We're using the trigger fish the other day. I think that's y'all right over here beside us, Santa. Yeah, Roger that. Did you get that catch there? Mm -hmm. see this on a different edge of it? Yeah, we're starting to catch them now. We've uh, we got several on a couple of drifts. Hey, Kim. I seen him down there. Oh, Big Daddy. I got the biggest one now. Ah, no, I ain't big. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, old St. Mary's River Crappy. Yeah. Otherwise, you know, just kind of let them take the hook and then reel up. Yeah, they're a tough fish, very strong, very good eating, a lot of fun. What we're doing is just drifting it. It is kind of a fast current, but uh, we can drift it fairly decent because it's not too rough, not too much wind. And we're actually drifting down the ledge, so we're constantly coming over, you know, little schools of them. So it works out good for us in this case. Hard. I'm not sure where I'm at. Am I over you? I think I'm under you. Sorry. All right, guys. Me, Lanier, and Clint are all hooked up. Oh, mine ain't. I ain't got a bigger fish. I got something different. Oh, you got porgy. Yeah. Yeah. Fourteen. Yeah, fourteen. Real nice, guys. I see you got a big one on. There you go, Clint. A good one. Might have to do a bucket dump soon. Yeah, a bucket dump. There we go. Oh, yeah. That's a good drop. Daddy. Yeah. That's a good one. Yeah, that's a good drop right here. We got four of them, didn't we? Yeah. Cool. Got to make work again. Yeah. Oh yeah, you gotta let them chew it up a little. Works better once it's chewed up a little. There you go. There we go. Slide behind you. Those buckets kind of heavy. Get back on this drift. Get set up right next to us and drift the same way. We get 10%. We gonna show you how, LP. We get 10% finders. We gonna show you how, Sam. Put yes, you on. I got side. Yeah. Right we, just side. we just get 10% finders. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Sam. 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 Come on, Sam.
Come on, guys. Y'all got to catch up me today. All right, guys. We got, hey, you oh, got one. These. That's a good one. Nephew. Nephew's got one. Hey, we had our, we had our fish game cam set out here, so we knew right where they were at. Woo, I thought the short <laughs> tank was really that big. Uh-oh. I think something got everything out of it. Yeah. There we go. Fish on, boys. Fish on. Got a triple headed. I'm just trying to get a double. Oh, a little short one though. Yeah, yeah, he I got a 4G. I got a 4G. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Just made it back. Nice, uh, pretty good ride in. A little cool, but that's typical for this time of year. Had fun catching the trigger fish. Didn't get on the wahoo like we'd hoped, but uh, you know, learning something every day, having a good time, and uh, hopefully you guys learn from the videos too. So. If you guys have any other questions, comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you next time on Real Hazardous.